and welcome back to the Reading FC career mode. I'm trying to record as many before I go on holiday so I can get back into the swing of things, but my god. I I have to turn my fan off to record because it will be very loud otherwise. I don't know exactly how hot it is in here, but the fan has been on. It's been nice and cool, considering. Yeah, we could hit about 40 degrees, I reckon, in here. It gets very warm, and if if I my if if my commentary starts to suffer, I'm blaming that. Anyway, we start off today's episode not with Everton, in fact, but with a job offer from the United States of America. Oh, this one tempts tempts me, you know, but nah, no. I don't, I don't think I'd enjoy it completely. I don't like international football. We won the World Cup with England, which was cool. Anyway, Everton and Arsenal in this one. Barca and Everton in the next. It's action-packed. Next two episodes. Stay. Hit that notification bell. You want to stay around. Before we start, make sure to subscribe to the channel. I'm not going to do one of those cringy, oh, you've got five seconds, or whatever people do these days. Just, you know. I'm coming back. Help me out. Let's get to... 125 by the end of the year, let's say. Uh, Jan Fert at League Cup. Who cares? <laughs> Who genuinely cares? Why do I still lack depth in central midfield? How is that possible? And then let's put Trapa. Oh my god, it's so hot in here. Anyway, oh, come on. Uh, we'll put Trapalo and go. Trapalo? No, no, we'll put the Stegen in goal. Come on, you Rs, let's do this. Oh, I'm gonna die in this heat! So, it's thankful that I have to record, pre-record, the, <laughs> the videos without face cam first, because, uh, yeah, it does mean I can record it in my pants, but even then I think I'm gonna struggle. It's very hot. My PlayStation is very hot, my computer's still warm. It's genuinely very hot in here. Having curtains doesn't help. Let's just try and survive. If my performances are poor, if my commentary gets a bit slurred, it's because I'm really struggling. If I sound out of breath, it's because I am, because it's like running in a desert, almost. Like, it's naturally gonna tire me out sooner. Anyway, come on you Rs, let's do this. Feeds Mbappe. Oh yes, it's in by Yamas. Great goal. The Royals lead, fluid counter-attack. Mbappe had the pace, it was a really nice ball. Yamas chipped it up and volleyed it past the near post. Pickford should have done better. But who really cares? It's Reading 1, Everton 0. Mbappe. Yamas. Oh, it's been given as a penalty. I don't believe it. If we go on to miss this... I won't be happy, because the referee did not play a sufficient advantage. Mbappe was indeed found, and uh, we'll be giving this penalty to Fabinho. The Brazilian steps up, and it's saved by Pickford. Well, Yamas got his, what he thought was his second goal of the game. It was ruled out, given as a penalty. And Fabinho has missed the resulting penalty. It was, as soon as I got the height wrong, I knew. I'm looking forward to the new penalty system next year. Oh, ref! That is such a dirty, dirty bit of play. That is horrific. And now we're in behind. Tammy Abraham, acres of space. Abraham scores! After some really, really uh, dirty tactics by Everton to stop us getting through on goal. Tammy Abraham makes them pay with a great finish through the legs of Pickford. Oh, glorious. And it is Reading 2, Everton 0. Fantastic showing. That was a gorgeous move. Shame it was cut short by the full-time whistle. But that does confirm Reading of 1. Oh, job done. One out of four. I think actually I need to record six games tonight. So one out of six. 
the time is currently, it's currently about nine o'clock, so if I just put in the work, should hopefully get rewarded. Anyway, on to the Arsenal game. Big game, big game, big game. Where are Arsenal in the lead? Shall we have a look? They're eighth, but early days, early days. They've drawn a lot, so let's try and, let's try and beat them. Here we go. We could so do with them at Aiski in FIFA, by the way. I just need to say. Oh, yes, that would be fantastic. Anyway, so the team we're going for today, full strength. Generic, come on you ours, let's do this. Here we go. At the Madstad for a big game against Arsenal. I'm going to have to take a break. Uh, yeah. Come on, we can we can win. We believe that we can win. Come on, Reading, let's do this. And headed in. Where was the man on the line? It's Leon Bailey, I believe. Oh, goodness. We're 1-0 down, and it fully deserved. But we intercept. And play a great ball through to Neymar. He has the pace. He has the time. He finds Arp who buries it. Of course he buries it. The only question was, would Neymar get tackled before he could find that pass? Thankfully, Arsenal just didn't want to dive in. Could have made a challenge there, didn't. And it cost them, because Jan Feyertarp is deadly from that range. Very deadly. Fekir, ball across the box, Neymar! Deserved goal! He's been the best player on the pitch. And Reading have been piling on the pressure. A lot of big misses, but that was a great goal. Opened up the space and Neymar, he couldn't miss from there. Though he nearly did. So I struggled with the heat. It's Reading 2, Arsenal 1. And heading into the Barca game, we could be getting a big win against a potential... Title? No, they're not really title rivals, Arsenal, but a good side nonetheless. And buried Arsenal have one back. Unbelievable. A Reading dominance could be unrewarded here as Brian, the fullback, I believe he's a fullback, gets on the score sheet. Gutting. Absolutely gutting. Oh, no, no, you're having a laugh. Oh, no, no, don't even show me those stats. It's very easy to get very annoyed in this heat very quickly. And that is, that is, that is unbelievable. It really is. Right, I'll see you back for the Barcelona game in the next episode. Thank you for watching. I've been Ruse DC 17 Like, subscribe. Cheerio.